I'm going to have a bunch of deposits into the checking account. I'll have to kind of add them all up to f to lump them together as the same grouping that the payment processors or credit card companies or whatever lump them in our bank account as. They didn't do it $5 at a time. They lumped them together in some way. So, so the way we do that in a non-ground system is we deposit into the payments to deposit generally. And then when I go to the bank at the end of the day, we will make the deposit. So I'll make a bank deposit and then I'm going to deposit these two items at 1216. Okay. So the full deposit is going to be 2,904.50 instead of two individual deposits, 1,700, 1,204 And that then will make it easier to reconcile because my bank statement will have one number, 2,901, not two numbers on it. Reconciling is very important. And this is going to be very important with, with the Shopify kind of, or, or pulling the information from a Shopify type of situation as well, because it's likely that we also want to automate our bank feeds and the information that's going to come in through the bank feeds is going to be whatever was deposited into the bank. In this case, to 2,904.50, not 1,700 or 1,204.50. So that, that becomes an issue we need to be aware of when we pull this information in from like an e-commerce website. So let's save it and close it and see what happens. So we'll say if I go to my checking, let's run it. So now in my checking account, we pull the deposit in to uh, the checking account that would match what hits the checking account with the bank feeds and and it'll ha it'll reconcile to the bank reconciliation and the payment account went back down and it shows the payment to deposit it shows the increases and decreases line item by line item which is quite nice so to summarize this when we when we compare this to what's going to happen in a shopify type of situation or or some other kind of e-commerce store note that quickbooks isn't isn't their inventory perpetual inventory system isn't generally designed to pull the information in from a Shopify type of store, right? Because if I pulled it in, you would think that I would have to make a, a sales receipt in order to properly allocate for the inventory, calculate the sales tax, the way QuickBooks would want to do it in an on, online kind of situation and deal with the payments to properly flow uh, through and match up to what's on uh, the bank feeds. So. So we can't normally do a full service. You would think you don't typically want to do that because for the reasons we talked about before. So we're going to have to break this up a little bit. And QuickBooks does work quite well to break it up. It's just that when people first think about it, about QuickBooks, they feel like they're just going to turn on all the stuff and pull in the data, turn on the inventory and track all the inventory in the same way as you would if it was an on-ground store. And that's you'd have to use QuickBooks normally a little bit different way. And that would be, we're going to break this up generally from a perpetual inventory system to a periodic inventory system. And we'll pull in the data that we need from Shopify utilizing the import tools, which are going to be bank feeds, possibly some, uh, some integration uh, apps uh, to pull in that information. And we'll pull in the information only that we that we need so that we don't overwhelm our QuickBooks system as well, uh, and we don't make it too tedious on us. Uh, and I, this is similar to the bank feeds. If you if you just turn on the bank feeds, for example, and you have no idea how to use bank feeds, you're just going to pull in a bunch of information and be completely overwhelmed. You have a similar thing with the with a Shopify or an online store. If you just pull in all the transactions from a Shopify and you don't know how to integrate those transactions, you could end up with a, with a very big mess, right? So the so what we want to do is summarize the information uh, uh, into QuickBooks. So hopefully I haven't scared anyone completely away with this, but I just want to go over the 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 issues that we'll, we'll, we'll go into and then we'll try to simplify that information as we pull it in uh, from like an e-commerce source.